Thomas Chan is headed back to the courtroom with extreme intoxication as his defense. On Friday, the Supreme Court of Canada ruled in favor of a new trial. It's also going to allow extreme intoxication as a legal defense in assault cases. Here's what happened. After taking magic mushrooms in December 2015, Chan killed his father, Dr. Andrew Chan, and gravely injured his father's partner, Lynn Wittaveen. Chan was found guilty of manslaughter and aggravated assault, and in March 2019 was sentenced to five years in prison. Chan's lawyer appealed the decision through the Ontario Court of Appeal. In turn, it granted a new trial, saying a section of the criminal code violated Chan's rights because he was prevented from using non-mental disorder automatism as a defense. That's when someone is intoxicated or impaired to the point where they lose complete control of themselves. The Crown challenged that appeal through the Supreme Court of Canada. And that brings us to Friday's ruling, in which the Supreme Court ruled to uphold the appeal decision for a new trial and to allow for a defense of extreme intoxication. One of Chan's lawyers, Danielle Robital, tweeted about the decision. Her statement reads in part, Thomas is grateful to the court for recognizing the defense of extreme intoxication and giving him the opportunity to defend himself at a second trial. Thomas wants nothing more than healing and harmony for himself, his family, and all those affected by that night. He hopes to have that one day. New trial dates for Chan haven't been set yet. Jessica Nisnik, Global News.